Listen to that one again. That's uh, called Caracolla. I must have written it in Rome. I'm thinking about looking at photos of Rome or something like that. The bothersome Caracolla. And he was an emperor. And if I am not mistaken, he was North African, which is anomalous. And he was eventually assassinated while he was taking a pee. So... There you go, Caracalla, Caracalla. So what's going on? That wasn't what I expected to play, but hey, that's okay. Little art update? Okay. So, comme vous saviez peut-être déjà, et encore, on aura un vernissage ce jeudi, le 2 mai. Ouf, c'est presque mai déjà. Uh, un petit bar à vin de qualité dans le 21 s'appelle... La Contrebande. Et vous êtes tous les bienvenus. Ça commence à 19h. Il aura eu un concert avec euh, trois ou quatre artistes euh, à partir de 20h. Et euh, je vais exposer quelques toiles. Et euh, c'est garanti d'être un 
belle, très belle soirée, uh, en toute convivialité. Uh, 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 J'ai des uh, mythes partout ici. C'est pas bon parce que tous mes uh, poules en laine sont uh, trouillés, si ça fait un mot. Ah, bâtard. Donc, a uh, little art update. So here's one piece that I'm working on. I'm going to try to get that done. This is just the view out the window there. It's a night view. So as you can see, I've blocked in the lines, the, the form, put a bit of ink on it, and uh, a little bit of spray paint. There's a little bit of rose color here. And then I just got an idea the other night what I'm going to do for the shadows. It's going to be a surprise. And I've got to fill in the, the sky. The sky, I calculated or I uh, ascertained, is about a 60% gray. So I think I'm going to have to block that in pretty quickly so that I can judge the tones of the rest of the, the tones and shades of the rest of the shapes. So that's how that's going. I've got to sand, this is spray paint right here, I've got to sand it down like I did over here because the contrast is just too great, it's too bright. The street lights are nearly as bright as the interior lights and that's just not um, appropriate. So that's what I'm working on. I've got another idea for uh, three other pieces. I, it's just a matter of time because the art opening is uh, in, on Thursday. That uh, leaves me two days. We'll see what I can do in two days, huh? But I'm pretty free as far as I can tell, but there's always something popping up, isn't there? There's always something popping up. And uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, and speaking of that, of happenstance, things popping up, I um, was working, then I had a little bit of break, and so just in that break time, it was uh, I had enough time to go down to this art gallery that I like. It's called Oishan. And... Uh, as I was going there, I passed by another gallery, and so I popped in. And I was, uh, it was a group show, I think it was about three artists. And I'm inspecting the works, and you know, I'm always like looking at technique. <laughs> and uh, so I'm looking at one, really studying it. It was uh, a nude drawn in acrylic on, on cardboard, pasted to a canvas, which is really good. Technique, I appreciate that. I often use canvases as sort of a reverse frame, something that that supports the work so you don't have to put it into a frame and put it behind glass or plastic, whatever the case may be. And uh, so it's just really handy, so I, I do that sometimes. Like this one, for instance. This is Well, this is a little bit different, but it's, there's a piece of paper with the Palimpsest collage on it. Well, actually, what I do is I take a piece of paper, paste it down on, onto the canvas, and then I do the palimpsest collage over it. I've taped off the edges so you can't really see that I've done the uh, collage over the paper, pasted onto the canvas. But then it's really handy. It's nice, got a nice light feel to it. And uh, so, and then I back up and I turn it, and there's this gal just beaming at me, just with a big wide smile. And I said, Oh, are you the artist? And she said, Yes. Do you like it? What do you think? And uh, we got to talking, and I explained to her that I said, yeah, it's cool, but I noticed that you didn't use the grid system on this one. Because for this next painting that I'm going to put on this white one right here, I'm going to use the grid system is what you do is you create a grid. And that way, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an old technique. It comes from the uh, Renaissance, as a matter of fact. What you can do is you can take a small drawing and expand it, or the inverse, and uh, with the proportions, you use the grid as a guide for where to place the line work. And I noticed that she had left the grid on some of her other paintings so, so that you could see it. I mean, I was looking for it, you know, so it wasn't as if uh, it's something obvious or anything like that. But I usually try to erase it because if you start painting on it, put acrylic on it or whatever, it, the pencil lines get baked in and you can't erase them. So that was interesting. But anyway, we got to talking in her name. She still has an exhibit up for a couple more days down in La Marais de Paris. Donc, si vous êtes là, dis bonjour à ma part. She's called Celine Lorraine. So Celine the Queen. And she lives in Chap. So we had a nice little conversation. And I was asking her about, you know, her experiences at shows and showing and so forth. 
and uh, we were trying to come up, figure out what the name of it, what they do is they have a, a piece of paper with all the works of art on it and then the prices of them. I was asking her, what do we call this in French? And she's like, price list. And I'm like, ah, uh, but there's no French word for that. And so then she said, catalogue. But it's, it's a moche. I'm like, why? Moche is ugly. And I'm like, why not? I, I don't, why not? It's far too commercial, she said. So then at the top of it, it was written portfolio. And portfolio is another one. So I guess there's no real translation for that. And so that was happenstance. I said, I was, I yeah, well, I'm glad uh, I came in because I was just walking down to this other gallery, L'Auchamp, and uh, Gallery Auchamp. And she says, Auchamp. Because she had known it. This is one of my favorite galleries. And uh, the guy who's the curator there, Hannibal Volkov, he's a, he's a, quite a character. And uh, so I was going there and I just happened to pass this other gallery where Celine was showing. Stopped in there. She says, Horsham. And I said, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. You've got to go and visit. And so I went and saw that exhibit. And here's a few of the pieces that were shown during that show. And uh, I really like this one. This one is inspiring. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. So I got to speak with this gal right here, who, uh, who is uh, Fabienne Uze ricard And so her uh, Instagram is F Uze ricard Good luck. And uh, she was telling me about this technique. So these are massive. These are, yeah, about maybe bigger than this. And uh, acrylic paint and uh, look at the detail you'll, you'll have to go and have a look at yourself say dans la marais say la galerie au champ and uh, she was with uh, Raphael who was also doing these really cool the translate it's like ebony pencil drawings this is not my favorite but uh, see how he gets that sort of photographic lens blur on that That's oh and look at my fingernail um, it's starting to split on the side here the reverse is good. And I wanted to talk to him too, but I was really pressed. And um, so then I went to my next appointment. And uh, as I was going, I saw this person with this like sort of old uh, 70s looking, one of those cameras with the viewfinder on the top. You know, one of those format ones looking down the street. And I, had, I was wondering if it had been retrofitted or forward fitted to... Uh, with a video camera because they're just walking down the street and staring into it because you can do that you can put like a digital capture uh, um, digital uh, yeah capture uh, into an older camera or you can put an older lens on a newer camera a uh, numeric uh, digital camera and so i i, I stopped and uh, i said is that a video camera and the, i didn't know if it was a boy or a girl honestly it was, uh, she, it turns out, looked a little bit like a cross between, uh, was dressed a little bit like uh, Johnny Depp and Edward Scissorhands and uh, 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 Freddy Krueger, but all in black. But that was the sort of, the thin man, that was the sort of silhouette she gave. And so we started talking. We ended up walking for a couple blocks, uh, just chatting. She's going, she's back in the Netherlands now. Young gal, I don't you know, I hesitate to guess how old she is, but probably be anywhere between 25 and 35 because I can't tell how old anyone is anymore. And she was going to this art bookstore. It's the sort of place where you can buy, you know, magazines for this one, for example. It's 30, 30 euros. I did not buy this. I found this. And I would show you, okay, I can show you a few things on the inside, but not all of it because it's an art magazine that there's a lot of nudity. I don't think... YouTube's going to care too much about this if I just flash that at you, but you know, you can see that sort of thing. And uh, some others are more explicit. And this one is a fashion magazine. Oh my goodness, this one is not YouTube friendly. So it's really cool. Look at that embossed printing. Raised embossed. And uh, this one is, you can buy this in the U.S. for $35. I did not buy either of these, mind you. I found them. There's, a, there's an interview with um, Wes uh, Anderson in one of these. Anyhow. And um, then, so I spoke with, and then, uh, well, but I just thought that was a kind of,
kind of a nice Paris Saturday afternoon to just sort of strike up conversation with uh, total strangers. Oh, I was listening to a video and the guy said that what you should do is you talk, should talk to five strangers a day for five years or something like that. It's something about being getting more in the mix. I think there's some value to that. You might come across that special connection sometime. And so, yeah, three nice ladies. Voila. I'm gonna... I was going to splash down. Let's see what this one is like. That's not it. Okay. Thank you. 